Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're tuning in for the first time today um, and you like the content, don't forget to drop a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, but today, um, today I'm going to start the first part of a four-part series um, on Forescan. So I did these, I did a couple videos uh, like two and a half years ago or so. Um, and I think a lot has changed since then, so it just seems right to kind of make the uh, make the whole process over again. And there's so many different levels of uh, experience on it. Um, you got people who've been using it for a while that just want to see how certain things work, um, and then other people who don't have a clue what's going on and need you know step one. So today's video is going to be step one, um, and what we're going to cover is kind of what Forescan even does, and uh, downloading the software, uh, registering, and getting it licensed so you can actually use it. Second video, number two, is going to be about the USB adapters, how to actually create the link between your laptop and your vehicle. Um, I say laptop, but you could use a phone, um, but we'll get into that with video two. Video number three will be the um, old school traditional way of how to change values in the as built section of um, your modules in your vehicle to make changes. And lastly, video number four will be um, not using the as built feature, but for some very popular vehicles, uh, the program already has a list of changes that you can make and just, you know, checkbox scenarios of what you would like to see as, as far as those changes go. So um, definitely check out whichever videos you need to uh, and let me know if you need any help. So on, on to uh, video number one. So what what is Forescan and what does it do? Why am I checking this video out? Well, uh, Forescan is a software that you can download and um, connect to your Ford vehicle and you can make various setting changes within various modules in your vehicle. Um, now, I'm going to start right out and say you cannot access anything tuning your vehicle. Your ECU, your engine management is, is not touchable with this. This is strictly making changes to, um, you know, body control module, uh, the APIM and stuff like that. Um, and I have a lot of people say, well, is it going to void my warranty? Um, I've had four technicians tell me, no, um, this is simply just changing settings. And some of these settings you can do with certain codes on your dash and skip the PC side of it. But this is way easier if, if I'm being honest with you. So, um, will it void your warranty? They tell me no. I've had people mess, mess it up um, and not know how to, you know, get it back and um, the dealership has reset it for them and I've heard no issues with that whatsoever. That, that's what happened in the past. Now there's pretty cool uh, feature now on it and we'll get into that later on. Um, it might not be in this video, but um, it, yeah, if you make a mistake, you can um, connect to your vehicle. As long as you have internet connection on your PC, um, you can actually load the default as built for each module which was stock um, back into your vehicle. So if you make a major mistake and stuff is just all weird um, and you need to revert it back to stock, it is super easy for you to do at home now. Um, there was always talk about saving your stock file, but nobody could really ever figure out how to save your stock file or to pull it back up. Um, but now they make it really super cool. So that's an easy way to fix it if uh, you kind of mess something up. Um, so that's kind of what it does, and you know, why do you want to change settings? Well, there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, so, you know, if you just touch your turnstock lightly um, to change lanes, it flashes three times on most typical newer Fords. Um, in my habit of driving, three times isn't long enough, so I change that to four. Uh, it works better for me. Some people use five. Uh, that's one instance. Your PowerPoint timeout, um, if you've got an F-150 or F-250 Super Duty, like I do, um, you have the power inverter 
and then you can plug whatever you want in and uh, I think stock from the factory um, that power inverter shuts off right away. You can change the timeout on that to last longer and you can also change the timeout on your 12 volt outlet as well. Um, I think mine was set for 10 minutes stock. I have a dash cam so I don't want my dash cam to shut off after I'm parked right away so I changed that um, feature. Uh, seat belt minders. You can shut off the if you are not wearing your seat belt um, and you don't want it to ding at you, you can change that. Your welcome chime, when you start the vehicle up, you can get rid of that. Uh, your, your screen on Sync 3, uh, how it starts up and it says forward, you can, you can make that say Lincoln, Raptor, uh, GT, whatever, whatever options are in there, you can change that too. Uh, daytime running lamps. Um, the next two are going to be big ones. Daytime running lamps, you can you can change it from just your headlights to including your parking lights. You can change it to just your parking lights. Um, here's a shot of my old F-150 here. I had the parking lights and the turn signals as my uh, DRLs and that was cool because I had the 502A equipment group on my Laria and uh, what that did was I had LED turn signals. So they lit up bright orange and then I had the orange trim ring around the side that was always lit up and of course I had the Raptor grill in it so it looked sick. Um, and then the next big one that people change a lot is Bambi mode. Um, what that is is the ability to have your fog lights on at the same time as your high beams. Um, there are state laws, uh, you know, certain states don't allow that, um, maybe certain states do. I don't really care, I haven't done the research on it. I don't use Bambi mode, um, but I've had people tell me, oh, you can't have three sets of lights on at one time. That's not true, because if you look at the um, Super Duty, the 17 to 21, you have dual headlights, and they are separate bulbs, and you have fog lights. So you literally have four low beams and two fog lights on at one time. Um, so that's definitely not true. Um, but those are those are the type of things that you can do with this. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into uh, getting to the website and finding out how we even go about getting started with this software. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to forscan.org. Um, and I'll start with saying I use a PC. It's easier for me to use a PC. I'm not a fan of Apple uh, whatsoever. So I am using a PC, Forscan. Dot org is where you want to go to first. Uh, the home page here kind of tells you about what's new in the software, what they've added, um, all kinds of stuff like that. You can read through it if you want. Um, but up here, right here, if you go ahead and click Products, um, right here, for scan for Windows version 2.3.43. Um, this is a free download. They have links here um, for these adapters, and then if you're using iOS, here's uh, here's one for iOS for Apple users, but you have to pay for it. Um, and then also there's ones for Android here, and then um, there's also links for, and you have to pay for the Android version as well. And there's also links here um, for like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, USB, OBD2 connectors. Um, if that's the route you want to go with, you want to use a tablet or your phone or something, but I find it easier. I already have a PC, uh, laptop, so I find it easier just to stick with the free stuff. So that's what I know. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to click on the Forescan for Windows. Down here, I'm also, um, I'm also using Windows 10. Uh, so down here, it is downloading. Once that's done, we'll uh, go ahead and open it up and install it. This part takes a while, so make sure you've got something to do or walk away and come back because about a third of the way there, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I am a little weird if you're wondering, just I am.
Oh yeah, it's because my internet's really bad, so it might be an instant download for you. But I'm out in the sticks, so it takes a minute. I'll see you in a minute. Oh. Oh. Hey, look. It's done. All right. So go ahead and click the guy. Uh, Windows protected PC, blah, blah, blah. It tells me not to run it. Well, what I do is I just click that little link there and I go run anyway. Yes. English? Yes. And then accept the agreement. And then it's going to put them in program files. Uh, I already exists. Would you like to install it anyway? Yes, I do because I uninstalled it just to make this video. So I'm going to do it anyway. All right. It will create a shortcut. Yep. Create a desktop shortcut. I don't use my desktop, so I'm going to click no, but it doesn't matter. Usually people do. So click install, and here we go. And it's done. Finish. That is downloaded and installed already. So now what we got to do is we have to license it. If you go up here to forum, go ahead and click forum. And then these are all the forums, uh, topics that you can... Uh, get into configuration and programming is the biggest one and then um, this is where you can go and look for for spreadsheets uh, so you can select this forum and I already got it look at that um, click spreadsheet alright so I went to page two and look here um, here's a link to Google Docs that has a 17 super duty spreadsheet so let's see what that does and here it is. So Google Docs obviously is not uh, Microsoft Excel, but you can download this um, as an Excel file, um, or you can just stay in line and uh, do this anyway. But uh, if you go down here and, you know, anyway, we'll get into this whole spreadsheet aspect um, on the third video. Uh, but that's the forum part. All right, so now we want to get Forescan going. So um, go ahead and search for Forescan. It's right here. Um, I also put it down here on the taskbar. That's where I like it. So we'll go ahead and open it up. All right, so it brings you up here to the log uh, to start. So we want to go down here to the steering wheel, and this is the About category. So what we want to do is this is unlicensed right now. So what we need to do is we need to go to the website and get a license. I'm still in the forum portion of it, so I'm just going to go back to the home page. All right, so next, let's go back to products. And then uh, extended license is free. So extended licenses right here, uh, two-month trial, this is free. Now, I have a lot of people that will comment on my videos and say, hey, this is, you know, somebody put a lot of time into this. Multiple people are working on this, and... It's come a long ways, I'll tell you, in the last few years. Um, and people will go, hey, I want to support this, and I want to buy a license. Um, I want to buy a one-year license, a three-year license. Um, I have had people buy lifetime licenses. I don't see it on here right now. It might be the extended license, though. Uh, but, so, for right now, for this uh, video purposes, I use the trial. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So click on this. Uh, support request. This page uh, will submit the request for a free trial. Processing is usually one to two hours. So right here, you fill out your name, your email, confirm your email, and then paste your hardware ID in there. And that's what you needed. Now, I do believe, so you come in here and then go Control V and it'll, your copied uh, hardware ID, it'll, it'll put right in there for you and your request has been submitted successfully. Processing usually takes one to two hours. So we'll check back in and see how this whole process is going. All right guys, so it is the next day. Uh, it definitely wasn't one to two hours, but I have heard that in the comments uh, section uh, lately. So it, it is the next day. Um, you know, it took, I don't know, 20 hours, but um, that's why I'm doing this video uh, so you guys can see the most accurate information there is. Uh, so, I'm going to go into my email here. Uh, they send you a list of uh, exactly what to do. And here is the link for my trial license. So, here we go. 
So here it brings you back to the Forescan and it uh, says download extended license key. So this is definitely different from how I used to be able to do it. I used to be able to log in on the website, uh, put in my hardware ID, it would automatically generate a uh, two month trial license for me and then I put it right into Forescan. Now it looks like you don't even have to register unless you want to talk on the forum maybe. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know which one's better. Couldn't tell you. So anyway, we downloaded it. It is right here. Um, so my downloads obviously go right into my download folder um, and I have quite a few license keys in here already. So this is number five. So we're just gonna we're just gonna remember that. And we are going to go back to Forescan, and like I said, the steering wheel here. We're going to go back down here to load license key. And then we want to go to the downloads folder. Which for me is under all this, downloads. And license key number five. Okay. Changes will be applied on restart. Restart now, yes. So let's go back down here, it's restarted. Go back down here to steering wheel. And it says I'm valid until November 30th, 2021. Now you have an option to uninstall license key here. Um, don't know why you want to do that, but to each their own. Now, we're ready to actually take this laptop out and hook this bad boy up and uh, I'll just show you how to connect it. No, I'm not gonna, that's gonna be the next video when we're talking about. So yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's gonna be video number two. Well, there it is guys. So video number one of this uh, series, hopefully this helped you out. Um, video number two coming out next is going to be um, the actual USB adapter to connect your PC to your vehicle. So we're going to go over options on these. Um, I'm going to give you these links and all that good stuff. So, all right, until we meet again, guys, later.